good people and welcome. Last week I got a request on the command to make a jersey swap tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, first let's open up our Robert Lewandowski images. Go to file, open and double click. Now let's select only the jersey but before we do that go to here and add all channel to active the transparency. Now press B on your keyboard or click this pad tool and select only the jersey. When almost finished, hold control on your keyboard and you see this chain icon, then click and press enter. Then press control C to copy and control V to paste. You see this floating selection and just click this. Oh yeah, so the jersey is selected and let's double click and rename it jersey. Now let's open up our reference images, go to file, open this layer and I choose this reference one, just click open, then scale it down and place it here. As you can see on our reference image, there are no shoulder strips and it has the texture. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna hide this. Before we do that, remove all on the jersey with game plugin. Thanks to Davis Media Design, you can see the video how to install and use it. Alright, so let's select this sponsor by using Bezier tool. Okay, then go to filter, enhance, and choose hill selection. I'm gonna leave this setting by default, just hit OK. You can see it do a great job to make it disappear from the jersey. Okay, let's do all the rest of it. Okay, now for the shoulder strips, do the same. And we're gonna polish it with the clone tool. Click this clone tool and scale the brush size. We're gonna take this sample, hold control, then click. Just brush over here. So it take the sample to make on this side. Gonna take this sample and for this two, do the same. Let's select this. Go to filter, enhance, and choose hill selection. You can play it with the setting, which is the best for you, but I'm gonna just leave it. Okay. Alright, let's police it with the clone tool. Click this clone tool and I take the sample or control, then press to here. Okay, next we are going to add the color to the jersey, but first let's back up in case something bad happened. Click this duplicate and name it jersey backup. Place it to the bottom. Alright, 
let's neutralize this color by desaturating it go to color desaturate desaturate again and hit ok adjust this shadow and I like with levels go to color levels and adjust it now it's turned to white if you want to make it some white jersey you can try with this desaturate next we're going to add the blue color create new layer and name it color just hit enter hide this background and open up our reference image you see this blue color just, just click this black color and with the dropper tool click this blue okay then hit ok click on the bucket fill tool and click on this background and let's move the jersey to up change the color mode to multiply I think it's a bit too dark we'll, let's increase the likeness go to color and just curves and up a little then we're going to merge it with the jersey right click just merge down and now the jersey is turned to blue we don't want this number turn to blue going to use the bezier tool oh yeah make sure you have the jersey backup before turn to color so it will take the original from this on the blue jersey layer select it hit delete next thing add some texture like this reverend image go to file open and just this let's select it first with this fuzzy tool but before you do that active the alpha channel right click and alpha channel and go to fuzzy tool then click the background because it's solid color it fast then hit delete deselect and let's just erase this this is for our texture now just drag and move to here move it here and scale it a little bit okay reduce the opacity and make it scale make it mess to this our blue jersey go to here right click apply to selection on the texture right click at layer mesh choose selection okay let's change the layer mode just try to find which is the best for the jersey I think it's linear like but the colors but the colors likely become different with our reference image go to this jersey and with the jersey selected go to color hue and saturation just play with it maybe decrease the saturation you can see the texture goes to the short and let's hide it with this layer mesh selected change the color to black and white click this brush tool paint over it to hide the texture I think the short should be matched with the jersey so on the jersey select it again like it with the base your tool press B with the short selected go to color hue and saturation find the closest color to the jersey and increase the saturation and for the neck you see no texture make it disappear select only the neck on the texture mask with the black brush tool color brush it and back to the jersey again and do the same go to color you and saturation find the closest color say ok let's see the result alright let's see 
and hide this okay before we add the sponsor let's hide this with the swap transform on the background just duplicate it and hide this original then let's bring it down let's adjust some level again on the jersey go to color levels last thing at sponsor you see on the reference image any of the sponsor the Nike Chelsea Yokohama and the Hyundai okay. we're going to place it here just hide it go to file open this layer and choose this Nike right way too big let's scale it down okay here and change the color to white go to color and just invert right now play with the perspective with this perspective click and find the best perspectives to make it fit with the jersey I think it's this no too big let's get it down Now add the Chelsea logo, go to file, open this layer and choose this. Let's scale it down. Around this. Let's rotate it a little. And play with the perspective. Give some shadow a little. Get new layer and name it shadows. Now for the Yokohama, go to file, open and choose this. And let's change the color to completely black. We're going to only select the Yokohama only. Just fill it. And crop with, with crop tool. Select only Yokohama. Alright just drag and move to here let's bring it up and let's make the black color disappear let's change it okay this like turn only let's scale it down and play with the perspective don't make it too straight i think this fit with the jersey You see this jersey bulls, uh, what do you call that? So let's try to make the text fit with this jersey with rock tool. Make it follow the bulge. Okay, for the Hyundai, go to file, open, and just this. Let's take only the Hyundai Control C and Control V to paste <coughs> bring it to our canvas okay bring it here and scale it down we're going to hide this outline part with masking so on the jersey selected right click I'll put to selection and go to this Hyundai layer Right click, add layer mask, and choose selection. Erase this texture with eraser tool. Let's open up our different image. Go to file, open this layer, and choose this ref2. right and open the last go to file open this layer and choose this ref3 you see on the right side it's the premier lake logo and 
left side is Hyundai for the shirt below the number is the Nike Swoosh Chelsea on the right I believe it out of the canvas so just leave it let's hide it now for the Nike just duplicate this and move it below the number I think it here and for the Premier League logo the file open just this okay let's select only the Premier League logo add Opal channel first then select it with this fuzzy tool and delete now let's drag to here then scale it down play with the perspective same steps with the Hyundai with the jersey selected right click Opal to selection and in this Premier League logo, right click, add layer mesh and choose selection. Let's make it warp a little with warp tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, leave the comment below because in advanced editing, you must understand the lighting, the advance of using game tools, and every jersey has different texture and shape that's the most challenging part do some practice and make some improvement if you made it please tag on my instagram i would love to see that thanks for watching and zaki from zaki design create something good today